A legislative hearing was held today centering around a Nebraska man serving time for murder. A bill is centered around the case regarding Ernest Jackson's conviction and denial of a new trial based on new evidence. Ernest Jackson was convicted in 1999 of first degree murder under the theory he aided and abetted someone else in the crime. However, another defendant testified in his own trial that he shot the victim in self-defense and Ernest wasn't there and was found not guilty because he acted in self-defense. Ernest can't use that testimony because the Supreme Court of Nebraska says the evidence isn't newly founded, only that it's newly available. There is a true injustice being served right now. That the actual person who fired the shot, one, said Ernest wasn't there, but two, more importantly, convinced a jury it was self-defense. So why is somebody sitting in jail for a murder that was never a murder? <laughs> The opposition consisted of a member of Attorney General's office and the Douglas County Attorney. They believe this bill shouldn't become law because the Supreme Court of Nebraska made themselves clear that they believe this could allow false testimony in the second trial. Such a remedy would encourage perjury when the second acquitted defendant were invited to testify in a retrial of the first case. Quote, such testimony would be untrustworthy and should not be encouraged. When asked if currently there was a possibility for someone who was acquitted of a crime that could testify in another person's trial, both said yes. Members of the committee questioned what the difference was. They didn't have an answer for that. At some point, the committee will vote on the proposed bill.